When you are building a crystal set, two of the harder parts to obtain are a variable capacitor and high impedance headphones. Luckily, you can use alternative components. Not long ago, I described a variable inductor. It was two inductors, a thinner one sliding inside a fatter one. When I slid it this way, I would obtain lower inductance and when I put it in this way, I would get higher inductance. With this one, I was able to get an inductance range of around 14 to 50 microhenry. That's over a three to one difference. I could get intermediate ranges of inductance by sliding it partially in and out. That variable inductance allows me to do away with the tuning capacitor. However, the AM broadcast band is quite a wide bandwidth from just over 500 kilohertz to over 1600 kilohertz. That's a frequency ratio of more than three to one. Sure, the inductance helps with its variability, but by itself is not enough. That's why I've got two fixed capacitors. The smaller one, 470 picofarad, covers the higher end of the AM broadcast band and the larger one, which is a thousand picofarad or one nanofarad, I put in parallel and that provides coverage of the bottom end of the AM broadcast band. The diode you see here is just an ordinary glass germanium diode as used in crystal sets. Silicon diodes won't be good enough. Instead of the high impedance headphones, I'm using a transformer. It was taken out of the power supply section of a piece of electronic gear and is not particularly critical. Its primary is 240 volts, dropping down to 10 volts. I previously tried another transformer that had multiple taps going from 6.3 to 15 volts and optimum was around the 10 volt point. But it wasn't critical either way. The 240 volt side goes to the diode side and the 10 volt side goes to your lower impedance headphones or even a speaker. And yes, this crystal set does drive a speaker, but only a big speaker. The bigger the speaker and the better enclosed it is, the better for a crystal set. If you're just to connect a small speaker without any enclosure, then it's unlikely you'd hear much at all. Just sliding the coils in and out. Has its own demands, and you better learn very quickly that when you're in a relationship, you're not a single person. And you were still super young, both teenagers. When well, I was 19, back. just turned 19 at the time. The last two stations you heard are ABC stations around 50 kilometres from here, and they're fairly high power, around 50 kilowatts at the low end of the AM broadcast band. Here in Melbourne, the commercial stations are at the higher end of the broadcast band. So I'll just remove the parallel capacitor. Now we've only got 470 picofarad instead of 1,000, and some more stations come in. Sorry, I should have asked before, Kayla. Have you got all the same staff? Like, 
Could you keep them with JobKeeper? What's the employment situation? Yeah, so we're fortunate enough to have a, a big team base and a lot of them were, were covered by JobKeeper. Um, so we, we have been able to keep everyone unless they've gone and got other jobs. Bolden than what I was. And essentially, doors were shut. I should mention this is direct speaker to microphone coupling, no amplifiers involved in this at all. Here's the circuit of the crystal set. The antenna is connected to the junction of the two coils. The 470 picofarad is connected permanently from the end of one of the coil to the end of the other and then the thousand is only connected when you wish to tune the low end of the AM band. The diode in this arrangement is connected to the top end of the coils. There's another thousand picofarad and then the transformer with the 240 volt part connected to the high impedance side and the 10 volt part connected to the low impedance side. The set worked without the one nanofarad capacitor, but its volume increased when I put it in. My coil doesn't have any taps, but if you wanted to add them, maybe using this coil as the outer coil so that it's more easily accessible, then you'd be able to tap both the antenna and the diode down the coil. That will reduce volume, but give you more selectivity, which could be handy in some cases. kind of felt I can do more, but for me to do more, I actually had to, well, my last completed education was sixth grade. It was always funny, you know, because that became for me a question I would always dread. It became that question of shame 